Well, there's a lot of excitement going on here now at the Progressive <laughs> Auto Sales Arena. Uh, and I'm not just... That's a good way to say it. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not just saying that because the score is 3-1. to one. Um, It's been a couple of interesting hits out there. Oh, yeah, it's... it's uh, Let's talk T- testy. Well, let's talk about the hit on our guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, y- you know what? Uh, this is one. It's a new call. I mean, I, I mean, this is fairly recent that I think the refs are really starting to pay a little more attention to this thing called the blindside hit. You know, and that whole blindsiding penalty. I, I'm not sure I quite fully understand it. Kind of like the shots on goal thing, and I'll <laughs> I'll go on about it forever if you let me. But uh, you know what I, I, you know, if the guy's not paying attention, you know, we used to say, well, suck it up because if you're not paying attention, you're going to get creamed, and then it's never good, right? It's so you got to be pay attention. It's the game, right? Now they're saying, well, if you're not paying attention, oh, no, that's not your fault, right? And we get clobbered. But uh, you know, some of these can be. You know, I, I think for me, it's more about how aggressive the hit is if the guy's not expecting it. Well, there is the conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there is the conversation. I wonder if if higher and above have spoken and said to the officials, "This is something you need to pay attention to more." Yep. Um, and and I don't know that for a fact. I'm just sort so of. So we got we got called for blindsiding yesterday in yeah. in last night's game and. Tonight, uh, they've managed to return the favor, and, uh, you know, Jameson Reese went down like a stone. Now, thank goodness he's okay, yeah. uh, and, he, and he's back uh, again. And he's only just back again because he's been out of the lineup for, yeah. for a bit. You know, you don't want you don't want to take uh, have too many g- – like, he's a guy we don't want to be without for the playoffs. I would, I would think most would agree with that. Yeah, so <laughs> – uh, anyway, but yeah, it's, I think it's an interesting call. Right? And I mean, uh, you know, and their guy was, uh, you know, sent, sent away. away. Yep, and, yep, and, yep. And, and I think right for so on that. guys like for things like that yes you know what I mean uh, and we've taken that out of the game because they're trying to make fighting a whole lot less but then you know you get this this chippy play where you're you know we talked about poking the bears so many times right well they're poking the bears and in this case the bears are our, our top guys well, I mean it's Franco and the, Jameson Reese right. and, and that's I guess you know, part of the, the the conversation is which bear do you poke? Because I don't see anybody going up to Hugo and saying hello. No, well, <laughs> no, but I do. I mean, they're they've been po- they poke Hugo large, yeah. and he's just really good at at, at keeping it, yeah. you know, under control. But I mean, he gets his fair share of hacks and slash and, and you know pokes and jabs and you know shirt hauls and you know like. I think they saw the the other the other night against uh, Windsor. I mean, they the one guy was holding oh, yeah. on to his jersey yeah, all the yeah. way down into he the just corner. Kind of like like, and he's like, he you said, know, Hello, little man. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's tough, right? I mean, it's hockey is an aggressive game, and so there's a, a certain amount of that. And I think where we do have to call the line is on those overly aggressive. Right. You know, clobbers well, that have a... Uh, lines do have to be drawn. Yeah, yeah, and, because and you don't want to intentionally hurt somebody. I think that's well, really you wouldn't the point, think so. Right? Right? One of yeah. their players did get uh, knocked down hard, but that was by a board. Yeah, well, he just went down weird in the corner. Like, I mean, it was a, it was a foot race to our goal, and our guy was playing defense properly and, and stuff like that. And the guy just lost an edge at the wrong time. And went right into the boards, and uh, you know what? You never want to see that because no. uh, you know that was unintentional and, and accidental, and and uh, 
But he got up and walked off the ice, so I'm uh, hoping the best for him. Yeah. You know, a couple of nice goals here to, to put us at three to one right now with uh, Jacob Perot, Colton Cameron. Nice. I, here's a guy that we don't talk a lot about, but. Uh, he's he's earned his way uh, to where well, he is right now. For sure. He's got a strong shot from the point, and I think, you know, that's that's what a defenseman should be doing. You know, yeah. the guy should be know how to snipe one from the blue line uh, through traffic and and hit just that open net, and yeah. uh, and he's done a couple of those over the season, which is great. Somebody we talk about a little more often too, uh, uh, and he hasn't got the goal tonight is McCombs, right? He had a yeah. nice breakaway there. Uh, obviously, it didn't go quite through for him, but here's a guy we keep hearing that name come up a little more often. Well, you know what? He's a, he's a young guy, and he's quick. I think that's the thing. You know, uh, we, we love our guys like Franco. I mean, if I could have a team of, <laughs> of Francos, I think, you know, I'd be perfectly happy with that because, you know, that's 110% all the time. Jake Chersky agrees speed. with you on that. We, yeah, yeah, he explosive said the same speed thing. and all that kind of stuff. And I think we see elements of that in McCombs. He's still young yet. Uh, and hopefully, as he develops, I'm hoping that some of those uh, those elements of his game come, uh, come, you know, get developed with it, right? Because yeah. that that speed and that ability to uh, create opportunities, those are all good things to have. And we see that right now in Justin McCombs. So uh, I like it. Are you paying attention to the bench much? Are you seeing seeing the? Uh, 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 I wish I could read lips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what, there's certainly lots and lots of uh, cussing going on out there for sure, but I'm not watching the bench. I, what I am watching is shots on goal. I mean, 29 to 12, yeah. you know, this is what we want to see happen. This is where we should day, be. Right? Uh, and that's why we're up 3-1 to one at the moment. We're getting shots on goal. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're quality shots, uh, lots of engagement in the forward zone. I, You know what, I love it. We're moving the puck well. Uh, we're, we're catching some of those stretch passes and creating a lot of odd man rushes, which is fun. Uh, and I think that's why we're ahead. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, the Sting just coming back out on the ice. You hear the noise and the bells ringing? We got the drummers in front of us. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> they're like in sync today. Sometimes they're not always in sync, yeah, but yeah, today yeah. they seem in sync. All right, three to one, uh, part two again of Flint versus Sarnia and Sarnia with the lead of three to one. Oh yeah, and it's a radio day. At That's first. right. Just going to check and see if I'm a winner. Okay. I'm a winner, right? I really hope he is. I hope so too. Right, we'll call ahead. All right. Yeah, it is radio day, and thanks to CHOK for all their support as well. And uh, if you wanted the play-by-play, -play, tune in to chok.com online. You can listen or uh, 103.9 FM, 1070 AM, CHOK. All right, we'll be live post-game. As always, depending on what happens, you never know who you're going to get. Hopefully, it's a positive result. For the show live on location, I'm David Burrows, and this is Jay Becca. Go Sting, go! Talk to you soon.